In the last 12 months, I spent over $4,733 on brain supplements and nootropics. I tested advanced nootropic supplements, a lot of adaptogen herbs, mushrooms, amino acids, racetams, choline compounds, and many extracts. The reason why I bought and tested all those supplements was to enhance my brain power and to try to achieve the limitless effect. Yes, exactly like the Bradley Cooper in the movie Limitless, just without the side effects. But did I accomplish that? Or did I just waste an opportunity to buy myself a real hobbit home? Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg and I'm a certified brain health professional. If biohacking, nootropics and optimizing brain performance interest you, then you came to the right place. Now, if you're serious about boosting your brain performance, then at some point you should consider taking nootropics. But for those who are new here, what exactly are nootropics? Well, nootropics are brain-boosting compounds, mostly natural, but can also be synthetic, that can enhance your cognitive function, like focus, they can improve your memory, speed of thinking, they can increase your attention, and also help with decision-making. Now, compared to the popular smart drugs like modafinil and Adderall, nootropics are, by definition, side effects free. If, of course, you follow the rules. So this is only true if you actually read the labels and follow the actual recommendations. Now, many CEOs, athletes, and high performers use nootropics daily to enhance their brain performance. But is that their main secret why they're so successful? Now, before I reveal the big secret, let's see how I was able to spend thousands of dollars on brain supplements, what exactly I took, and what actually happened. So, as a certified brain health professional, I know exactly what my brain needs for peak performance. Coffee and cookies. But besides that, here are the crucial supplements that I hoped would actually boost my brain performance. First, there are advanced brain supplements, for which I spent over $2,433. Then, there are individual nootropics, natural and synthetic, for which I spent over $1,890. I also took omega-3 because you need the healthy fats for your cellular function, and for that I spent over $300. And the B-complex, probably the most important vitamins for brain performance you need to take daily. And for that I spent over $103. So, you may be thinking, well, you spent a lot of money on brain supplements. And let me tell you right away, you are right. But do you really need to take all of those supplements to boost your brain power? Well, before I answer that, let's check out what happened during the last 12 months. Now, my expectations were very reasonable and totally clear. Double IQ and photographic memory. No, but for real, I wanted to boost my focus so I could be more productive. I wanted to improve my memory so I could remember more. I also wanted to have more energy throughout the day without experiencing any crashes. And that's exactly what happened after just one day of supplementing nootropics. Nah, obviously, I'm joking. But here is what actually happened. Now, first of all, my focus improved. Now, I'm able to stay focused for at least 30% longer than before taking nootropics. My memory also improved. I can easily remember longer and harder words, locations and numbers, but I still struggle with names sometimes. I've been in a better mood for most of the time. I've had more energy. Stress and anxiety rarely hit me. I'm more creative than ever before. Studying is easier and more fun. Uh, well, maybe not more fun, just easier. I'm more productive and I have more motivation. But can you get those exact benefits if you just copy my supplement routine and take all of the nootropics that I took? Well, maybe. But before I answer that, let me share five crucial learnings that will totally change your perspective about brain boosting pills. The first learning is most brain supplements on the market are really low quality. Now, if you go to the supermarket or even on Amazon, you'll find hundreds of brain supplements that make all kinds of promises. But the reality is most such brain supplements are low quality. And I mean it, really low quality. So before you consider supplementing them, the first thing you need to do is to check their price. If they're underpriced, it probably means they're low quality. And low quality means trouble, like they use mainly synthetic supplements. For example, uh, the important B9 vitamin. Instead of using folate, which is the natural version, they use folic acid, the synthetic one. They contain lots of unwanted fillers and binders, like artificial colors, um, like hydrogenated oils, like soybean oil, like magnesium silicate or stearate, titanium dioxide and silicon dioxide, sodium benzonate, etc. 
then the compounds are underdosed or overdosed. And yes, actually, both can be problematic. For example, many brain supplements contain extremely high dosages of caffeine, which can cause severe side effects like anxiety, nervousness, and jittery. So you may think, well, this is a strong and potent supplement. Well, it is, but it can also give you a diarrhea you will never forget. As a matter of fact, there are only a couple of really high quality nootropic supplements on the market. Now, before we talk about them, here is the second learning from my experience. When it comes to nootropic supplements, our expectations are usually unrealistic. Now, nootropics are not magical pills and they won't substitute a lack of sleep, bad diet, or a generally low quality lifestyle. They simply can't do that. And we sleep six. Now, I know there's some out there that say, whoa, 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 I need eight. Well, I say, just sleep a little faster. No, 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 this is wrong. Now, here's the reality. Supplements can be very beneficial, but only if you take care of your lifestyle. For example, if you have generally low energy levels, a supplement on its own won't increase it, but it can support different body processes to help you feel more energized. So if you sleep long enough and take a natural energy supplement, the supplement will ensure you have even more energy for a prolonged state. But if you don't sleep long enough and you wake up tired, for example, then the energy supplement won't do much or you at least won't feel the effects. And as the result, you may even experience a heart crash very, very soon. So are the nootropics the hidden secrets of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and professionals? Yes, maybe they are, but only of those that also take care of their lifestyle. So have the right expectations about supplements and don't look at them as the magical pills that will solve all the world's problems, because they won't. Now, the third learning is this. Most brain-boosting supplements don't deliver short-term results. Now, people expect extraordinary effects just a few minutes after they take the brain-boosting capsules. So it's been 20 seconds since I took the capsules and well, nothing happened. And no, the shit doesn't work. But that's not how nootropics work. Most don't have any short-term effects at all. Zero, nada, zero. Quite often, you won't even feel a placebo effect. They are not a shortcut to better health and performance. They're more of a, well, long-term supporters on your journey to peak performance. Now the fourth learning. Nootropic supplements can be risky. They can cause side effects like constipation, like nausea, like vomiting, like stomach pain, etc. And trust me, I suffer from all of them. If you take any drugs whatsoever, do consult your doctor first. And don't just trust random people on Facebook telling you, yeah, those supplements are not dangerous. Don't worry. If a particular nootropic works for your neighbor, Joe, it doesn't mean it's actually going to work for you as well. Shocking, right? And the fifth and the most important learning is, we focus too much on supplements and too little on our lifestyle. Well, let's just admit it. We would all perform so much better if we spend less money and time on supplements and focus more on our lifestyle if we optimize our sleep, nutrition, workout, etc. Instead of buying supplements, we could use the money to buy high quality organic foods or use the money to buy other things that could support our health. A mat for meditation and yoga, a pair of new sneakers for a workout or whatever else would help us. But taking the supplements is easy and the promised benefits sound way too good not to give them a try. So do you really need to spend all that money on supplements? No. If you're not seriously trying to improve your performance, then don't bother investing so much money into all of those supplements. But, and there is always a but, you actually want to get as close to the limitless performance as possible. Well, most of the supplements on my list should probably be on your list as well. Now there's a video up there to my favorite brain supplements of this year. And in addition to that, there are links below to them. So check them out and feel free to steal my discount codes. I won't search for you, don't worry. But if you're searching for other ways to boost your brain performance, then watch my next video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.